Hey guys, welcome to another Form Titan video and in this video we'll talk about how to translate Salesforce error message in a custom language. Very handy video if you're looking to translate your messages in a different language, so we'll show you how this is done. First thing what I'll do is I'll display a normal standard message in English and then from there on we'll start to modify that exact message and translate it into a different language and the language we use is French. So let's just call this account name the field and then let's go into our Salesforce integration we'll do a push get rid of this and we'll call this one account action is great I'm not going to map any fields so we can just see the error message and I'll just say show error messages to users click finish and then finally we'll get a button over here uh, let's move this in the middle a little bit there we go and we set this as submit. Now, if I save and preview this, you'll see that if I click submit, <coughs> it will give me an error message saying required field, required underscore field underscore missing. So we're going to use this and we're going to translate this into French and show you how it's done. First thing you need is a hidden field. And I'm using Mac at the moment, so and Therefore, it's in English, so you won't be able to translate it, but I'll show you how to do it manually, and then I'll show you how it's done um, fully when it's, <coughs> uh, when it's live. So you'll click the hidden field here, and you'll call this hidden field, I don't know, say language. And then you've got something called language as a system value, and you'll just select that. And then once you've done it, you will go ahead and rename this field to whatever, I'll just call it error, for example. And then you'll click the second field here, go into conditioning, and say if current field contains, let's just say this error message, which it does contain, ensure there are no spaces, pop it in there, and then also say and my language equals fr. What this will do, it will translate this automatically into French for you. However, <clears throat> Due to my browser is in English, I'll have to do this in a um, in a manual way. So on language here, what you need to do is set the value, uh, not choose any value, but set the value as fr, which is lowercase for French. And then once you've done that, go and write a condition on here. So in the condition, you will just say current field contains required or whatever it can be for your error message and language equals fr then in here you do show message and i've got a message already translated so message the uh, with me which means error message and we'll pop this in here we'll give it a width and a height and then finally i'll just say what this translates to is account name missing so let's get rid of this and I'll pop this in here and what I'll do is I'll change the 36 and I'll change the text color to red click apply click apply again apply All right we're ready to test let's publish this form click submit and you can see there's the error message there still because this hasn't picked it up so what we'll do is we'll quickly say <clears throat> that this we have to go back into a push quickly and make sure that our messages here we select where the error is going to get mapped to it's going to be an error field here click apply finish go into publish click submit and there you go there's a translated error message in French so that's how it's done. You've got to make sure that, first of all, your first um, hidden field picks up the error, and then make sure that your second hidden field translates that into the language, whatever you want. And in a normal world, all you need to do is select the system value to language, and then leave that as, as it is. But however, in your conditions for your first hidden field here, you'll write that the language must equals FR, it could be GB or whatever uh, language that you're using. And then you just simply go ahead and configure 
the message itself and you're good to go. So once you've done all of that, click save, preview, submit, and you'll get the error. You must specify the language. Look what happens if I get rid of the language value here. I'll get rid of it, I'll save it, and I'll preview, and I'll click submit, nothing, absolutely nothing. So you must specify the value in here, which for me is French, and you preview, and then there it is. So that's how it's done. Thank you for watching this video.